in this ring here, I'm closed off into four corners and I can express my way, express myself in, in a way that is passionate, that is, the way, that is physical, that is um, emotional and I can get it all, I can get the outlet that I need in here. He asked a question again. When I was 17 years old, I walked into a Premier Fitness, and at the time, it's like the equivalent of a good life nowadays. Um, I started training because I was a little overweight at that time, and I was just about to go into college. So I wanted to go to the gym, and inside that gym, they had a boxing uh, studio where there was a trainer in there hitting the bag and, and shadow boxing and hitting the speed bags. Eventually one day he, he saw me kind of peeking in like a little kid um, and he invited me to come inside the studio and he taught me some of the basic punches and some of the technique behind it. And then funny enough, later on, I learned that he, was, he went to the Olympics in 1998 and won a silver medalist. So when me and my fiance met, um, boxing was an, an integral part of both of our lives and, and we started working together and we started creating gyms here and gyms there and eventually we, we, we came to our own facility and we said let's just get everybody to come to us instead of us going to other people. As soon as you walk into our gym, our facility, first thing you see inside, as soon as you open the door, you see a massive ring and that can be a pretty intimidating thing and as soon as it becomes like a, a, a routine and you walk inside this gym every day, there's a different kind of confidence when you walk out of it and it's always beautiful to see with kids. What I see a lot is a lot of teenagers that walk into the facility, when they get really comfortable in the sport, you can really see their confidence growing to a completely different level. When I'm not boxing, um, I love to create. I love to create art, I love to create music, I love to create photography, I love to create images. The, the, the motivation these days comes from simply adapting to all the changes that are happening with our world due to COVID. The Fight Then Cancer is a charity that we started, me and my fiance started in 2011. We decided one day, let's do a charity and let's make it into something that we do that we know best, which is boxing. Boxing has really, has really taught me how to pretty much operate on a day-to-day -day basis. It's given me an outlet basically. And to me, having that outlet is really important because I know sometimes I can get a little bit emotional or, I, or to the point where I, I need to either escape life or I need to go hit a bag. <laughs> 